Good afternoon. I guess you've heard what's happening on the media, but um, I've never seen so many helicopters in the sky as in London this afternoon. It's like a scene from Apocalypse Now. Probably heard, I think, um, I think one lady's died over there. They mowed into her. And also, uh, I think one cop was stabbed with a machete and they shot him dead, I think. But it's quite a scary scene over there at the moment, but um, I've never seen so many police. And it's amazing also how how quiet the, the city's gone at the moment, Oxford Street. This is just just not good for business here at the moment. I can count about five helicopters above me at the moment. So whether there's any more on the run or not, I don't know. Still quite a few tourists around at the moment. I'll try and keep this up for as long as I can. I'm not sure how long this signal can last. Even the Royal Festival Hall is closed at the moment, so obviously, you know, they're realising that um, these people are probably look, looking for any sort of uh, soft target that they can get, uh, including, you know, just people just walking over the bridge. So sad enjoying their day, isn't it? It's just so tragic to know that this is happening in, you know, London, the city I know and love, and always have loved, this majestic, beautiful city, and look at it now, you know, it's just fucking like a war zone, look. Five helicopters up there. Zoom lens monitoring everyone at the moment. Talking to a few cops as well, they obviously seem quite scared and um, I don't know what sort of military training they have, if any, but you know, you, the first thing you do if there's a gun is you get a wall behind you and I advised a few of them, there's police boats just there going past. And they thank me for that, you know, they, they seem to appreciate that. And on Westminster Bridge itself, you'll see that all the buses, all the traffic was there at the time of the attack. It's just left there. It's the same in Westminster, um, Waterloo Bridge behind me. You see that everything's just been locked down. Probably, I imagine, forensics or whatever. But um, this is going to cost the city millions. The London Eye is closed. Everything is closed. But people must have known that something like this is going to happen. And it's going to happen again and again and again, isn't it? You know, it's just so sad. But uh, I'm going to hit the road in a minute anyway. And... Uh, I always pick the wrong day to come uptown, you know, it uh, always gets me that way. You don't look at me anyway all the time, let me show you a bit around this. Uh... Don't know what sort of sound it is, it may not be so good, this tin machine, you know, there's a few copters up there. You've seen it all before and you're probably going to see it all again. Some of the tourists around here just seem really dumbfounded. The yeah, Royal Festival Hall closed today. Closed. Someone's been shot dead on the bridge. Really? Uh, I bless you, are you English? Yeah, yeah, the uh, police and someone, they mowed into someone on the bridge, I believe. And uh, I think there's at least one person dead. Yeah, on the bridge, yeah. You're English? Oh, okay. Hablas Espanol? Well, Francis, je parle trop petit français, yeah. Moi, um, no. Very, muy peligroso aquí hoy. Very, very dangerous here today. Uh, la, la policía. And, uh, Westminster, Westminster, Westminster Bridge. The attack was on Westminster Bridge, and um, they just apparently were just mowing into people. I don't. I was talking to the American correspondent over there, but I think what happened was similar to the Nice attack, where the car just came along and just mowed into anyone. I mean, poor people on their holiday, you know, just walk, walking over the bridge and just just hit them. And uh, just, just, just be careful. I mean, keep a wall behind you. Keep close to buildings. You know, my advice. I don't, I don't know the full story. This is why, this is why they're yeah, this is also why there's so many uh, helicopters in the sky at the moment as well. Yeah, I'm so sorry your day's been interrupted. You come to London on holiday, yeah? And, no, 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 uh, yeah. I live here. Oh, you live here? Yeah, okay, yeah. Your English is good. Yeah. <laughs> Take care anyway. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you have it. Um, there's a lady who actually lives here. A French lady. Turn it around again. So, um, but people nonchalantly go about their daily life, you know. You know, this is a city under lockdown. We have to be really vigilant now. And I'm probably preaching to the converted here as well. But um, I didn't expect. I've just been to uh, my professional building and the people who work there. I mean, you can see they're obviously visibly scared to know they're going to come out into this situation tonight. But um, I'm not trying to be over dramatic or anything, but it's just sort of really strange up here at the moment, very, very quiet. And um, But, you know, with what happened in Nice and what happened in um, Brussels last year and on the beaches in uh, Tunisia, 
it was bound to happen here at some stage and um, to, for me to say otherwise would be quite naive just hope this signal lasts but I guess this makes a change from the six o'clock news to hear me delivering the news tonight you know <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I'll be leaving shortly, but my advice is keep out the West End tonight. Go anywhere, you know, a forest or Hampstead Heath, maybe not Hampstead Heath, but a forest anywhere that's away from people at the moment, because they're obviously looking for soft targets. So, you know, I imagine this is going to put the this part of Westminster into lockdown for a few days. I mean, because uh, whether there's others still, there are, there are are obviously other cells at large here and um, I mean if, if MI5 was so brilliant they would have you know they claim to be so great they would have deterred all this including the one today you know from what I know people walking across walking across the bridge you know just doing a bit of sightseeing so they're not brilliant you know I mean you can I think as the IRA once said you know we can be lucky a hundred times they've only got to be lucky once and uh, this is the way it works it's uh war of attrition you know one side trying to break the other one down constantly and uh, Westminster Bridge is just chocolate that's, that's Waterloo Bridge over there that's uh, try and focus in a bit on it so uh, sorry I can't show you anything more dramatic than this at the moment but uh, this is it I can't get a signal on the other side of the bridges mainly all happening over there in Westminster but uh, I think if I go too far from the festival I'm going to lose this signal which is what I don't want to do and um, I don't like to be the deliverer of bad news, you know me, I mean everyone, all my Facebook friends here, you know I like good vibrations, I love the good vibrations and a good time, I don't like this going on, but you know, at the same time it is, and I'm a realist. I think it was a similar situation a couple of years ago where, I think it was in Birmingham where, uh, there was rumours of an attack, or there was an attack, and um, I think part of Birmingham, they, they just basically huddled up in the police station. I mean, you can understand it, but um, if you don't see a combat situation every day, then, you know, it's a rather unique experience. <laughs> Maybe your last experience, you know. I mean, um, the cop who was uh, attacked with a machete today, I mean, presumably had a stab vest on or something, but I would hope he did. But... Um, some who, someone who's trained in combat is going to know that not to hit him in the chest, you know, hit him in the neck or in the face, any, any soft part of the body, you know. So, this shouldn't be underestimated. Basically a city under siege at the moment. I think it's also very unlikely that they're, they're going to attack in the same place first that uh, same place again they wouldn't do that you know that this attack on Westminster Day could be I would imagine a decoy so that they can attack another part of the country or regroup or whatever and um, the sort of idealistic mind the idealists that do this sort of thing um, know they're gonna have loss of life you know they'll die for a cause and uh, they probably knew that the people that did the attacks they would end up in the mortuary tonight you know that's part of the uh the philosophy of uh, being a terrorist or being a, in their words i suppose a freedom fighter
I'm not going to do a grand tour of the sites of London tonight. I mean, there's a GPO tower over there, but it's... Uh, question is, will it still be there tomorrow morning? I mean, that survived the IRA in 1971, I think it was. Beautiful building, that. I mean, I went up there in 71. My granddad took me up there. It's now uh, a listed building like that White Elephant uh, Center Point. Also now, also now a listed building. There it is. Very sort of modernist building, that. Um, part of Harold Wilson's white heat when people have this idea in the 60s that everyone would be like you know these helicopters would be living in bliss they had this wonderful squeaky clean view of the future that we'd all be living in bliss now and the, the GPO tower I think symbolizes that philosophy in that era you know I, I love that building I really do Most of the action, I say action, is or inverted commas, is happening over there in um, in Westminster. It's just uh, tending to casualties. And it's just like a scene from that film, I think, was it 28 days afterwards, where you've got stacks of double-decker buses piling up behind each other and um, just, just left there, you know, except um, with 28 days after, I would imagine that they, they filmed that early in the morning, you know. It's a sort of weird, sort of surreal feeling here at the moment. It's similar to uh, after the 7th of July bombings in 19, uh, in 2005, you know, where the streets of Ilford, there's a police boat going on there, so there's obviously... Uh... I must add, I didn't intend to be here tonight. It's purely by chance that I am here. And I'm going to probably try and take my chances by getting to where... Uh, I think Waterloo Station in a minute. I think I think most of the stations are open, strangely enough. I think it's just Westminster, which uh, goes under Parliament, which is closed. So a little stroll, you know, get the adrenaline rush in a bit. But uh, this is going to be in headlines for a few days, if not weeks, I would imagine, you know, especially with the elections coming up in Europe and everything. This is not going to go away. So whether you're in the Philippines, whether you're in the UK, Wherever you may be, I hope you have a nice evening. And if anything dramatic happens up here tonight, I'll uh, I'll go live again. Hi, Jan. I see you down there, Jan. What are you what are you watching in Wales? Yeah. Long time since you spoke to me, isn't it? You know. Do I look any older? Of course I do. You know. Look at, listen, it's not it's not the way I look. It's the way I am inside. I think that matters anyway. Wherever you may be, take care. Sort of seeing those planes fly over is very sort of reminiscent of um, 2001 when I was in Liverpool Street when my friend phoned me and said that um, planes just gone into the World Trade Centre, which I went up myself in in 1993. Just sort of brings back memories of that, you know. Traffic traffic's moving a bit now on, on Waterloo Bridge. People want to get home, you know, the hard day's work, and they've got to get up here tomorrow morning. It's only Wednesday, isn't it? So it's still fairly early in the week. Hope you can hear the broadcast okay. I haven't done this that often. As you can see, the South Bank Centre completely shut. You know, this would probably would, there's probably some good concerts that they've cancelled in there tonight. You know, I don't know who, but when a situation like this occurs, what can you do? You know, you're the take it seriously or put people's lives at risk, I imagine. There it is, the world famous South Bank Centre. I'm about to get back guys anyway, hope to see you all soon or whenever. Okay, adios amigos.